welcome to my channel. If you find this video entertaining and or knowledgeable, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Chances are, if you're a Star Trek fan, you probably own a Star Trek ornament for your Christmas tree. I was a big fan of the 90s, mostly with Star Trek Next Generation, a little DS9. These, this is my collection. I hang them on the Christmas tree every single year. And I have a problem with one of the ornaments. And I'm sure if you own the data ornament, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This ornament is Gigundor. That's a shout out to you, Rick. It is also very heavy. Now, if you don't have a sturdy tree, this will be on the floor if you're hanging on a branch. It'll be hanging down really far and chances are it's gonna fall off. And if you don't put it closest to the tree trunk itself, chances are it's not gonna stay there. Unless you have a sturdy tree, of course. But there have been years where I, where I didn't buy a sturdy tree and I just couldn't hang this ornament up. I would have to put it around the Christmas tree on the floor. So I came up with this idea. I could make this ornament smaller and make it lighter. So what I did was I cut right here and I took off the console. And this is what I have now. And I also have a little cat ornament that I put in there, and that's Spot Kitty. If you're a Star Trek Next Generation fan, you would know that. But that's the ornament that I made, and you don't even notice where I cut it off. And it's also very, very light. Anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. You can make this ornament smaller if you wanted to, and get a little cat ornament and put it in his lap for Spot Kitty. For all you Star Trek fans out there, thank you for watching. Have a great Christmas. See you next time. And don't forget to smash that like button. I'll see you later. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. It's five-year mission to explore strange